from Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida CBS 4 News. A little more than two weeks from then, the nation will pause to mark the 10th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. Hard to believe that a decade has already passed. As CBS 4's David Sutta shows you, you don't have to travel to New York, Washington, or Pennsylvania to mark one of the darkest days in American history. I can't believe it's been 10 years since it's, it happened. It seems like it's gone by in a flash. It really does. Like most of us, David Walter's life changed on September 11, 2001, but in ways most of us will never understand. I can almost smell the, from being there, the smoke, the smell of jet fuel. He spent 18 days at Ground Zero in New York as part of Miami's urban search and rescue team, recovering the bodies of New York firefighters who were rushed in as the towers were collapsing. A great deal of humanity just disappeared that day. They, they never found them. We invited Walters to the Miami Art Museum today, where the museum is remembering the 10th anniversary of the attack with a collection of Ground Zero photos by Joel Meyerowitz, the first and only photographer allowed on Ground Zero. He campaigned for two weeks before being let in. He was convinced that if a record didn't exist of what was going on actually on the site, uh, that it would be lost to history. The photos span nine months capturing the disaster, the trauma, and the unthinkable. It's uh, a shot in a daycare center of all these jumbled up cribs and everything and you just don't know what happened there, if there were kids there, when it happened, or if all your imagination just sort of goes to work. Walters told us the images bring it all back, the smells, the feelings, the heartache. He hopes the images at the Miami Art Museum do the same for you. This is an event that needs to be remembered, that it's an event that it's our generation's Pearl Harbor. In addition to the 24 images on display at the exhibit is a book here with hundreds more. And there is a book here for you to leave your thoughts about 9-11. The exhibit runs through November 6th and it's free for public safety workers and free for everyone in South Florida on September 11th. So come on out and remember a piece of our history. From Miami, David Sutter, CBS 4 News. Craig Setzer is back.